Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Wednesday morning Bible study. We're going to read uh, James chapter 5, verses 13 to 20 from the NIV Bible. Um, I will begin. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Uh -uh. Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. My brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth, and someone should bring that person back, remember this. Whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins. Amen. 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 So, so what Amen. words, uh, before we get too deep, what words uh, kind of stand out for you? Anyone. Anyone. Yes, anyone. Mm -hmm. Pray. Trouble, trouble, happy, Pray. Safe. Pray. Whoever. Whoever. Sing. Pray. Sing. The Lord, sing, right? The Lord will raise them up. They will be forgiven. Given, yep. Yeah. Confess. Name of the Lord. Mm. Healed. Mm -hmm. Powerful Orphid. and effective. Prayer offered in faith. Mm, excellent. Righteous Amen. person. Mm. Again, he prayed. Mm. Confess. Confess. Earnestly. Earnestly. Turns the center. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Righteous. Righteous. Powerful and effective. And cover over a multitude of sins. Offered in faith. Mm. If any if any one of you should wander from the truth. Mm. Anoint them with oil mm. in the name of the Lord. Confess your sins. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Would somebody like to read it again? I'll read. Yes, thanks. All right. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone hungry? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. My brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring that person back, remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from the death and cover over a multitude of sins. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Monterey. So what is this saying? <clears throat> so we, we begin, if any of you in trouble, let them pray. Mm -hmm. So what is this saying to us? The power we of are each other's keepers. Power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Relationship, Relationship and love. Mm -hmm. yeah. Faith. Faith is big. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Call on the elders of the church. Mm -hmm. the, the prayer offered in faith is powerful. Forgiveness mm -hmm. of sins. Con 
confession, honest confession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Personal confession, one to another. It's not a big thing. It's, it's one to another. Yes. That relationship Stefan talked about. Yes. The model of Elijah. Mm-hmm. It's the, the power of a human being. Prayer. We must pray for each other. Yeah. It talks about the humanness that we we you know that there's the possibility of wandering from the truth, mm -hmm. and that uh, in the relationship Stefan talked about, it, you know, we're we're assigned to go and get that person and bring them back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the phrase that comes to mind, am I my brother's keeper? You know, um, it, it shows the power of community. We we as saved, born again people are, <clears throat> are a community. Mm -hmm. And just like if your neighbor goes away, can you get my mail for me? You mm -hmm. know, is anyone among you in trouble? How are you doing today? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to be honest and you're going to be in the community and you're going to share, well, today's not one of my better days. <clears throat> and sometimes we don't need to, Oh, what's the matter? No. Our next thing is, let's pray. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm looking at different perspective, too, that in the community, you know, when you're in community, people, you're going through, but people can give you a different perspective. And mm -hmm. I personally, I remember when I was going through and Stefan stepped to me one time and was like, girl, you need to fight back, fight back, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. so. uh, power Powerful. But, but it gets me, too, to can think about this. Confess your sins to each other. We, we don't do that. We don't do that a lot. We tell our problems. We don't necessarily confess our sins. That's hard. That's hard to do. Plus, society tells us not to. Right, right. right Keep right. your it's business. Don't, don't be going out there telling your business to nobody. Exactly. <laughs> they're going to tell everybody else. They're going to they're gonna spread the gossip. The uh, but yeah, but that's 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 powerful to really think about confessing your sins, um, and and even little ones. Once again, it's that relationship and community mm -hmm. because people will confess their sins to you, Pastor, mm -hmm. because you're the pastor, and mm -hmm. they feel that you have that lawyer, um, client relationship. You can't tell nobody but God. Right, right. But they may not feel comfortable with <laughs> miniature Charles, even though she's a minister. She, she's mm -hmm. all, we all on the same level. You know, Pastor, you're a little higher because you passed. But we're mm -hmm. all in the community. <laughs> and, and I think once we realize that it's brother and sister. Exactly. Right, family, right. family. You know, and yeah, you know, I'm an only child, so I don't know. But yeah, on some families, you're right. You ain't going to tell sister so-and-so or cousin so-and-so <laughs> right but you right. you're gonna find you might tell auntie right. you know right. and sometimes and and as we as we go in this walk and as we form the community and as we build the relationship only not with christ, and christ is going to lead you to who you can tell because you're telling because you want somebody to pray and go and intercede for you right you're, you're not just right. you know you're not just putting it in the bulletin for right. everybody to know, right, right, you know, but 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 you know, you God will direct you to that person's or persons mm -hmm. who is going to be there and say, okay, um, without going into details, let's go to God, right. And while I'm praying for you, you leave that burden at the altar, or you leave that burden here, right, know, um, right. and and I don't need to know the details because God knows, mm -hmm. He just wants you to come, and yep. and sometimes you bring a friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I think it explains the importance of altar call. Um, it, it explains the importance of, of of prayer and multiple people praying for you. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it, it explains the role of us as Christians in the church, part of our role. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, not to judge. It says to pray. Yeah. Um, and and I think it 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 um it it encourages us to to get up. Well, it encourages me this part to tell a testimony, mm -hmm. um, 
and maybe someone else will will be inspired to get up and come and tell their story and um maybe it'll be it'll inspire someone to get up and and say what's wrong with them so mm-hmm. it's a lot in this passage yeah and, and that yeah, like you said uh, th- this non-judgmental culture that we 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 have created to some extent can even do a better job of creating is so important so that we can confess our sins to each other that god is the only judge so we shouldn't feel judged by our fellow human beings but as fellowship as stefan said um would somebody like to read it one more time one final time is there anyone among you in trouble let them pray is anyone happy Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain in the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. My brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth, and someone should bring that person back, Remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way, their way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sin. Amen. Amen. So the question is, what do we what do we walk away with? We talked about some of that stuff. The. uh, (laughs) The uh, that no matter what happens, anyone in trouble or happy, you, you turn it over to God. Yes. You pray and you pray. Prayer changes things. Yeah. No matter what it is, good or bad, you turn it over to God. And it said Elijah prayed earnestly. Earnestly, right. Mm -hmm. Right. That that word right there, separate. You know, we pray and Mm -hmm. and short prayer, but when you pray earnestly, Mm -hmm. you see Mm -hmm. God moved that it would not rain. It didn't rain. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. With faith, right? Right. When you pray, you have to have faith. Uh, Verse 15 says, and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. I'm reading the right. When we pray, we must pray with faith. We can't just pray just to say words. We have to really go deep yeah. into it and we must have faith yeah yeah but, i'm we, reading gerard in the uh chat right if you worry pray if you pray don't worry yes yes mm. Mm. simple mm. simple but powerful mm. words very simple the uh yeah. what else what do we take away with what how is this going to change our day mm. Mm. But what, that praying earnestly mm-hmm. that when you I mean that's a constant thing and you have to believe what you're praying for mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. the uh, but also mm-hmm. tells me too to, to to go out of my way to be non-judgmental so that someone's mm-hmm. comfortable to to confess their sins to us right mm-hmm. to feel to feel open and and say that hey hey you know feel free to share I will love you no matter what that reminds me of a safe place. We all mm. look for a safe place to be. Yeah, yeah, a safe place to be. And 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 that's Monterey and our t- where we're talking about the magic of covenant, the mystique of covenant. But that's it. It's a safe place. We've got to maintain it's a place that you can be you, whoever you are, whoever God calls you to be. And what it else? Also tells us to sing songs of praise. Mm-hmm. So if we're happy, we, we should be. Letting everyone know that we're happy by by our songs, by by that, that song that we're singing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the, the praise. One of the main takeaways from this passage for me is that uh, we must be there for each other, no matter mm-hmm. no matter the circumstances. 
If someone is in trouble, you pray. If someone is happy, you know, we 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 praise. And uh, you know, whatever it is that we want, what um, we can pray. We have a very powerful tool. Mm -hmm. Prayer. That's the main takeaway for me. Yeah, absolutely, no, absolutely. It's it, it's a, it's a it's a powerful tool. Now we have to understand that the answer to prayer is God's answer. It's not necessarily our answer. Hey, I'm curious about the last line. It mm -hmm. says, "Whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from both death and over a multitude of sins." Who's the them? Save you or saves the person? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Why, is it both? Yeah. We'll say both of them, really, from death oh, and cover yeah. remote to mm -hmm. the sins. You can, mm -hmm. you can drag it's people fake. down or you can drag people up. <laughs> That's mm. what you're, saying. you're dragging people up. Mm. It reminds me of that, that verse in the Bible, the power of life and death. Mm. Mm -hmm. so how we approach yeah. people. Mm -hmm. life or death yes <laughs> and Absolutely. how it, how it saved reading that that scripture mm -hmm. about the tongue <laughs> but, right the uh naomi you can say something yeah i was saying how it saves us is it strengthens our faith because we're praying in faith for someone else a lot of times we can have the faith for someone else even when we don't have the faith for ourselves and it also strengthens us in love Mm -hmm. So that's how it saves us also, because it takes us into a deeper rim of love mm -hmm. because we are um, um, crying out on behalf of our brothers and sisters. And then we can see ourselves where we can cry out for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it, it covers them. It covers them with love. It covers them with mercy. It covers them with forgiveness. And it, it also strengthens us. So it, it saves us both. It strengthens mm -hmm. our faith both yes. ways. Amen. Well said. Well said. What else stands out that we'll take with us? So, and again, many of us know people that are struggling. We're going to pray for people who are sick. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The mm -hmm. Lord will raise them up, you know, well according to God, whatever that, whatever that means to God at, at the time. So the prayers we're going to offer in faith in a little bit, you know, we'll we'll make the sick, the sick well. And and it says to me that the Lord the Lord heard his prayer, mm -hmm. because it did rain. He heard Elijah's prayer, mm -hmm. so I'm sure he's hearing our prayers if we're praying and we're praying in faith and earnestly. Uh, thank you, thank you, Donna. And and, and nineteen. We haven't talked as much. If one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring that person back, that we have to really do our best to, to help those who have wandered. We probably know more people who've wandered from the truth than have accepted the truth, to bring them back. It's a tough task. It's a tough task. This is a calling. It's a tough task, but someone said to me the other day, whoa, well, what do you do? I said, well... I'm learning that I'm not going to argue with a person. I'm not mm -hmm. going to uh, go toe to toe with someone or head on with someone. I said, I'm just learning to pray for them. Mm -hmm. um, whether they even realize it or not, I'm just going to go and I'm just going to pray for them. Yes. Whether I agree with the person or not, mm -hmm. you know, especially when it's in a, a situation uh, we were talking about church and we were talking about prayer Um Sometimes some people don't believe. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have faith. So I just pray for them. Right. Um, and that's what I've learned. You just pray for them because you can't change someone and you can't change someone's attitude, mm -hmm. but prayer can. So yep. that's what I've just been learning to do is just to pray. Yeah, to pray. And 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 it's so and, and we gotta remember also that. It, it, it's a tough task because we have to tell them truth because mm -hmm. truth is what's going to set them free. Mm -hmm. So so it, it's easy to keep our mouth shut and don't say anything. It's really easy. It's easy for us to see each other and send it just to let them go. But 
that's why it's so important for us to be led by the Holy Spirit. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit will give us that word of truth to give to them to help to set them mm-hmm. free. You know, to hold for they to for them to hold on to faith and so that you could be able to help pray them through, you know. So it 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 takes courage. It takes courage. It's very tough because we have to do it in truth and we have to do it in love by the leading God and of the Holy Spirit. And we have to live it. We have to live it. That the 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 best way is to to demonstrate to the, how to walk with God. And then that I firmly believe that if you do it, and they see enough people doing it, they will they will know the truth and they will follow. What else? What else? And before we uh, praying, take private prayers, you're bringing it. I think by praying, you're bringing it directly to God. Right. Um, right. So I think that's. That's the key right there is to bring it to him first. Yeah. The uh and, and praying with them, I think. Praying with them. Say, so, hey, do you mind if we pray together? I think those are powerful, powerful words. And that can that can that can bring a person to the truth. Can we pray and together? And 15 and the prayer offer in offer in faith will make the person well, the Lord will raise them up. Mm-hmm. Verse 15. There's a lot of a discussion these days about inclusivity, and uh, and and we're often torn between you know going and making disciples and then caring for that one that was lost. And uh, this uh, phrase talks about everybody. Um, yeah, right, right. Trouble. Everyone's in trouble at some point yeah. in time. Right? Everyone's happy at some point in time. So this is a, a statement of inclusion, also. Yeah. It makes it the, the uh, imagine the power if you're arguing with somebody and you you're at odds and it gets heated and you you stop and say. Hey, hey, can we pray together? Oh. That can change. That can change anything. Just can we pray together? And uh, um, well, this is this is a wonderful. Any final word before we uh, take some private prayers? I wanted to point I think out. We should just keep in mind that 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 even though we, we we'll, we'll pray and 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 God will deliver them, but we we don't know how that deliverance may come. We don't know how that healing may come. Right. You know, because Absolutely. we're looking on the natural and not so much the spiritual, and 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 we got to keep that in mind that God is sovereign and is all in God's hand, and for us just to be obedient and pray and leave the the end result to the Lord. And and, and God's time. And God's time, not ours, but in God's. Absolutely. The well, thank you all. Let's take some. And we uh, just have five. to. Uh, okay. Go ahead, now, Minister Charles. You, you have. Okay, I, I was going to say we just have to keep in the back of our mind at all times that mm-hmm. the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Yes. Yep. And uh-huh. so um, we must yep. always remember to use the the power of prayer. Amen. 